Hey guys, so these are called regular figures. All the sides are the same length. There is a formula to find the area of these, and that is one half apothem times perimeter. In order to find the apothem, we find the center of the figure, drop a line perpendicular to any one of the sides going to the middle of one of those sides. That length is called the apothem. And to find the perimeter, that's all the way around the figure. So if this one side length is S, then the perimeter, which we'll call P, is S times the number of sides. So it'd be five for this one, it'd be six for this middle one, it'd be 10 for this bottom one. But in the general case, we can just say a figure has n sides, so we would call that s times n. And since all these have the same formula, let's bring it up to the top and we'll put a box around it. Next step, we're going to connect the midpoint to the vertices of all the shapes, and then we're going to start pulling the figures apart. Now we have a bunch of triangles that are equal to our original shapes. See how they just unfold. Let's find the area of one of the triangles. Well, the area of a triangle is one half base times height. Our base is that original side length S, and the height is our apothem. So we can change each of these H's into an A. This is the area of one of the triangles. So if we multiply it by five, we'll get all five triangles. Or if we multiply it by six, or for down here, we multiply it by 10. Now we don't need these circles anymore. This is the area of all five of these. This is the area of all six of these. This is the area of all 10 of these. If we swap our S and A's, which we're allowed to do by the commutative property, of multiplication. And since 5 or 6 or 10 are a number of sides, let's change that into n. And now we have s times n. And as we pointed out up here, s times n is the perimeter of the original shape. All three of these say area equals 1 half apothem times perimeter. So now all three of them are the same formula. We can get rid of these two. We don't really need this anymore either. Let's make it larger and put a box around it. This is the formula for any one of these. And as we bring them back together, we get our original regular figures. And this is a visual demonstration of why the area of a regular polygon is one half the apothem times the perimeter.